Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Lofty N Scaler. Today I'm revisiting the track. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Lofty N Scaler where anyone can build a train layout just like me. You just gotta find the space and just actually do it. So Today, I was sitting up in my loft, and I've been filming a couple things, and uh, over the last day or so, um, I was up in my loft, and I filmed this. So, sometimes I think it just helps to sit in the space that you're looking at building in, and just to kind of sit here for a while. I've done a rearranging here, so I'm going to take you around. Hopefully, this won't be too jerky. I have no idea what this is recording right now, because my phone is not hooked up to it. Again, I'm shooting on a DJI Osmo, and you use the telephone to connect to the Osmo to give you a preview. It's a gimbal, gimbal-type uh, uh, thing. So I'm going to flip you around. Here you go. Whoop, there you go. Okay. So this is kind of the area right now. I reversed um, where my grandson is going to be sleeping. That's his PS4. Okay, and I'm going to flip you around again. And uh, maybe I, I don't know what you're seeing. Uh, so well, I'm flying blind here, folks. So we're going back around. All right. Now, this is the other end here. Okay. So you can see my blue foam is going to be over there. Hold on. Let me set this up here. Okay, so I don't know how well you guys can see this or not, but the blue foam union station is going to be there. And then it's going to come out across this wall. I'm a little worried about this hole in the floor, as you can see here, the hole in the floor. Uh, I don't want to fall down, and I certainly don't want my grandson to fall down. So I moved the, the bed over here, it's further away. There's an extra chair here to protect him from going in here. I put the chair here, his PlayStation's over there, and then here. So, number one, I'm gonna be covering up this, this hole. Uh, so I'm gonna have a door that pops up. I'm um, having a carpenter come out this week and take a look and see if he can help me create some sort of door that we can close to protect anyone from falling down. And then I've got carpet, I can carpet it so it'll blend in nicely. The second thing I did, I had a new idea because of the design. So it's going to be down that way and then it's going to come this way along the wall. But I thought, hey, why not, since this, with the thing, I want to protect this area. And really people shouldn't be walking across it. What if I brought a peninsula out here? So it could come down here. That's probably about four or five feet, which I could put some interests in. I could put a station in, and then I could go back. Uh, it would be more of a Y here, there, and it'd only be like two feet wide. So it would be relatively narrow, but it would kind of protect that area from the stairwell area. And then over here, since there's quite a bit of room, I'm gonna move this over here, okay. So this area here is actually relatively wide. So I was thinking I could come around the wall, make a turn. It might be a tight turn, but a turn, and then kind of do a horseshoe around and then go back against the wall. And then I could put another station here. Again, this side of the stairwell would be protected. Um, I could probably use some of my uh, cam connect pieces, uh, one for over there and one for over here. I probably have enough to do all that. Um, and then that way I wouldn't have to create any type of bench work. I would just be more of a table. So, so that's kind of some new ideas. I still have to get the wiring done. I have to pull out my soldering iron. Uh, I need to make uh, connections. Um, the other thought was too, with the Union Stationery, instead of coming off on this wall, to come off on the wall behind me. So the tracks would be angled this way and go against that flat wall over there. Uh, 
So instead of having the tracks angled this way, I'd have them angled this way and then come across this flat wall, which is already a flat wall. I have to do the height, worry about the height a little bit, um, just to make sure I get the right height. I think that the Union Station, this first set is gonna be above the plug. So that inch and three quarter foam is gonna actually be above the plug, which will also put it, I'm a little worried about the cable over there, but it should be just around that cable area. So if I gotta shove the cable back in the wall, it's not a huge deal because uh, it's not even connected down the basement and I don't think we'll be using TV up here um, If nothing else we'll use a Wi-Fi internet uh, for the, like a Roku stick or a streaming stick or something like that uh, But anyway, just some thoughts So I'm gonna try to get to some soldering today. I don't know if I'll actually get to it I might have to worry about that for next week. I can't build it all in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? So the lofty end scale, the LNS line is not being built in a day either. <laughs> so I don't want to waste your time, guys, time. Um, I want to put out content, but I don't want to waste your time either. So um, anyway, these are just thoughts rolling around in my head. Uh, whether they're good or bad is, I have no idea. Now, as I began to think about it and about the stairs and all that good stuff, this is the general layout here. If I can, I'll show you here. I'll pick it up of my loft area. Okay, so right over on this side, right here, is the Union Station. And then it's going to come down along this wall here. And then I have stairs here right there that come up folding stairs so and then I have a space and I thought I'd like to protect those stairs from people falling down it by putting um, uh, some 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 bench work there and so what I think I'm gonna be doing is I think I'm gonna be using the cam connect I'm gonna dig it out of the trailer and what I'll do is uh, basically uh, this this bench work here is 24 inches wide and uh, this will be 24 inches wide by 36 inches long. Um, I might put a corner piece here and then here and then put a straight section in between uh, since that's what I have. And then over here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this is 36 inches wide and then my grandson's bed is right in here. Um, but if I had a section here and a section here then that will be protected in that stairwell. Now I'm still going to put a lid over the stairwell area, but it's going to be um, just kind of like you'll be coming up in between the two two layouts. Problem is the cam connect is at a certain height, so I have to cut the legs on the cam connect to bring it down to a certain level. I have to establish the height of Union Station. Um, right here uh, I'm gonna have to establish the height of that and I I'm waffling around on that it's gonna be as high as just how above the plug which will affect how much I have to cut off these legs here and really I need to get all that in place before I start putting track down It'd be nothing worse than putting track down and I have to pull it all back up because things aren't meshing out around and because and part of this is tier here, I don't know if you can see it, the uh, Union Station and the um, Cam Connect will overlap. So I'll have to cut a notch out of the styrofoam. And if I do that, then that'll affect what track I put on the styrofoam as opposed to what I put on the Cam Connect. I don't want to put switches on a split. So it's either they all have to be on the cam connect or they all have to be on the foam. So I just have to be careful of that and that'll affect um, what goes where. So today was a brief episode. I apologize. I wanted to be further along with that than this. Um, but I want to make sure I get it right. It's nothing worse than getting it wrong and having to rip it all back out again. So... 
you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Follow my progress. Hopefully, I'm inspiring you to do your own thing and get something, some rail down. It doesn't matter if you have a loft area, a small loft area like me, or a ginormous basement. Start small. Even if you have room for just like a point to point, like a straight track, you know, you can set up so there's railroads that have passenger service that go from point A to point B. It's a push pull service back and forth. That's all you need to get started. Two stations, one piece of track. So, no excuses. Get on it. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I appreciate everything you do for me and all the comments that you've been giving me and inspiration. Really do. We'll see you next time.